Objective deployed. Point suppressed. Can you smoke this? In this video, I'm using a new keyboard which is another wooding competitor that is cheaper with Hall Effect and 8000 Hz polling rate. Farmilo sent me this keyboard for review, but all opinions are my own as always. For just $155, you already have an aluminum case and glass plate weight at the bottom which makes the overall keyboard feel nicer. The total weight is around 1.2 kilograms, which is quite heavy compared to keyboards with plastic cases, but it's not crazy heavy that it becomes inconvenient having to move this around. The design is different than most keyboards with 5 different color themes to choose from, that's not just a different case color, the weight is also different for each color theme. These options are not something you often see on keyboards, which is quite cool to have this many options, although it might a bit hard to match some colors with your overall setup aesthetic. Maybe I would love to see some simple simple black or white theme with their own twist on the bottom weight, that would look much cleaner and easier to match with any setup. But overall, I like the design of the keyboard. Now let's talk about the performance. If you think the Wooding 60 is still the gold standard, then this performs as well. Although on paper, this should be better with the 8000 Hz spoiling rate, I strongly believe the difference is not noticeable. The Hall Effect and Rapid Trigger feel very responsive. Features like SOCD and Rapid Snappy are also available if you think those will benefit you in some games. To set the actuation and Rapid Trigger settings, you have to use the Farmula software. For me, it was a clunky experience at first, not gonna lie, but once I learned to set everything up to my preference, using the driver won't be needed as much. For Valorant, I use this exact settings of actuation points and rapid trigger, which you can also copy with any Hall of Fame keyboards you use. With this keyboard, there are two switch options, Gateron Magnetic White and Jade. I got the white ones, although they definitely feel better than wooding lacquer switches, I would recommend you to go for the Jade ones because I think they are better. Here's how they sound. It sounds decent, but still not the best compared to some Hall Effect keyboards I've tried, but luckily it's hot swap, so if you want to upgrade the sound, just get better switches and install them easily. However, keep in mind that you cannot swap the case like wooding with this one. One negative thing about this keyboard is that the RGB of this keyboard is very dim. Of course, RGB is not everything, and even for me, it's not something that I really value from a keyboard. However, with this one, I feel that it's just too dim, and for this price, I feel it should have a brighter RGB. If you haven't experienced Hall of a keyboards and want to try them, this keyboard will be one of my recommendations to get. The reason is that not only does it perform as well as wooding, which many people say is the best gaming keyboard, but it's also slightly cheaper with an overall better build quality. It has an aluminum case with more color themes to choose from and slightly better sound than the stock wooding. If you want to check it out, links will be in description and pinned comment below.
Push. Nice. Yeah, up it, up it, up it. Oh. I got copy. Haha. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Perfect. 